Hello everyone, it's Yanis here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome to another weekly Forex forecast. Um, before we start, this week we have UK elections on Thursday, I think. So uh, keep a little bit closer eye on GPP pairs. We expect volatility. If you have positions running, uh, tighten a little bit your uh, APO create your win-win scenario sooner but don't close your positions we will start with the usd yen and we already know that we have a reaction on a major support area price has already broken 36 ema and my preview support area acting as resistance and if we go on our daily chart we will see that we have a really nice one two three with a higher high a well-respected trend line and of course the only thing missing is your two two three line to break this is a daily chart a uh, room to go we have like 500 pips of course you need to combine that with lower settings entry or even with a daily entry if you are into daily entries so that means a setup on four hour above this area of course to go long in another scenario if you see this area breaking again you know this is a well respected support area and if it breaks you are going short for 270 pips of course again you would need to get a setup below your trend line and below your major support resistance area now if we check euro yen we know already price has retraced all the way to the 36 CMA four days sorry four weeks here my 36 CMA respected uh, the resistance and price is a little bit slow in case we uh, in case price wants to continue short next potential target is this level here price almost reached it so we have also a reaction here and a higher low and we don't know for sure if price is going to break this area or not definitely we would like to go short trend continuation following the main trend and the only thing missing of course is this daily trend line to break remember this daily trend line is a weekly two to three line on the other hand if price breaks this trend line you will have to remember that this is a weekly powerful trend line and also 36 EMA with multiple tops over here so if you get a break you can go long but ideally above this area or short below this area the good thing is with short it will be following the main trend trend following uh, <coughs> continuation if we check euro gpp we see that price after the crossover uh, crossed fast all the way down to a major support area it doesn't mean we will get a reaction here but what we know is that for i don't know since 2016 this is respected so i will keep in mind first to try to bounce trade that long and in case price breaks this area this would be also a good thing because it will be breaking a very powerful support area so my next scenario would be on my monthly chart to identify next highs and lows so again i go back and see what kind of movement i have so far volatility 12 EMA is holding and price is pressured short 
So again, even now on my four hour chart, again, price is short. I have the reaction, the first indication about the retracement and if price wants to retrace, it will go for at least 50 pips. And on my one hour chart, uh, that is also not looking really good. We don't have nice retracements, we don't have nice movements. Price is a little bit funny. So what we can do is, as an excuse, you can say, with a one hour trend line, I can wait for my one hour trend line to break, to go long with a setup, using this setup as an excuse for an early entry, considering this as a bounce opportunity. And like I said, if price wants to continue its powerful movement to break and breaks this area, you're going short, just waiting at lower settings, one, two, three, retracement, setup, and trend continuation, no harm done. If we check New Zealand dollar yen, let me put my A, my uh, indicator. I already have a very powerful downtrend. I have uh, the reaction and now it looks like price has broken my 36 EMA. So in this case, I have the bounce and what I would like is to see if I can get an opportunity to go long. We have our trend line here, it's broken and also we have a higher trend line coming from too many touches. I'm going long. I have my next potential target which is my previous high combined with some lows and the only thing missing is to verify that powerful movement and for that to happen I need a retracement. I need my confirmation, price retraces to 36 EMA, I'm going long to cover 220 pips. If we check our four hour chart, we see something that we don't have it on the daily. Four hour chart, it's the one that retraces till 36 EMA. So that forces us in a way to focus first on four hour chart. And of course, we will wait our two to three line to break to combine that with lower settings or even a four hour entry for 160 pips. It's not going to be an early entry and that is why you can and you should use lower uh, risk. If we check Aussie Yen, we will see that we have a very powerful, for some time now, uh, short trend. I have the retracement, price has reacted on my 36 CMA, my trend line is respected and of course I should focus short. Uh, I have my previous lows, I can go to the monthly chart for a quick peek and see that also this is a very powerful support area and actually it has broken and this is actually also a lower low for, from all these spikes here. So with my history, next potential target is this area and this is plenty of room. This is actually more than 120. 1200 300 pips that is my monthly chart on my weekly like we said we have lower low we have the retracement combined resistance area from my trend line my 36 EMA and my previous support area are holding and price still looks like it wants to go short on my daily chart I have here my trend line, a big, big wedge. I don't have enough room to go long 
and that's why I would like to focus and wait for my da daily trend line to break and a four hour setup to go short. And like I said, this is, uh, we have here a pl plenty of room to go short and it's promising. So let's focus short. <clears throat> now, our last pair is CHF Yen. Here, what we see is a false breakout. Price broke my support area here. It couldn't stay below. And what I have is if I go to my daily, of course, you will see that we have a daily trend line break. We have the crossover. We have a one to three range situation, price retraced all the way down. And now I have another one to three. This is something that I like. What I don't like is all these touches. I go back to my weekly chart. I have a false breakout, a higher low. Definitely, I would like to go long because short it's already too close for me to take the trade. Uh, and with this daily one to three, which actually looks quite good, what I would like is to combine it with lower settings and wait for another one to three, up, sorry, above this area to go long. That means my multiple tops area here daily will be broken and with an extra confirmation on a four hour chart and a nice trend line, I will be able to enter for 220 pips. Um, as I always say, what I always say is wait for the price to do what you want it to do. We said we would like to get a 1 to 3 above this area and it doesn't matter how long it will take. It will take as long as it needs. We should be there waiting for the trade. These are the six pairs that uh, I have in my watch list. They are looking much more better than other rangy pairs. So focus on them. Uh, like I said, keep an eye on GBP pairs. You do the elections and see you again on the live room. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye bye.